Welcome to Cooking with Johan. Today we're going to see uh, how to pick a good pineapple. When I go to the grocery store, I grab a pineapple that actually starts to yellow a little bit. To see if a pineapple is mature, you see those kind of diamond shaped spots on the pineapple. Throughout the pineapple, it should be pretty close to the same size. Sometimes when pineapple doesn't fully mature, just the diamonds will be, you know, really small on top and that makes a very unripe pineapple. Okay, another thing that I always look for is the smell. It should smell like really fragrant, like a good fresh pineapple. Um, when it starts to smell musky, it's uh, a big sign that your pineapple is overripe. Um, some people say it's a myth. I think uh, when the pineapple starts to ripen a little bit, you should be able to pull out the leaves pretty easily um, when, when they're still just too green. Um, you know, you have a hard time pulling those out. Just the easiest way of, of just cutting the pineapple, I just usually cut the top and the bottom off. Gives you a nice flat surface to work with. And then usually what I cut, I kind of cut with the fruit so that you can, you know, waste the minimum of the fruit. Now you want to cut just deep enough that you cut all those spots off. But of course you don't want to cut too deep and just waste too much of the fruit. If you miss a spot, you know, you can just go over and just get it. For me it's not so appetizing just to chew on those uh, fibers. Okay, we want to get that core out. The easiest way I usually do it is I cut straight all the way to the bottom and then give it a quarter turn and go all the way. So then you have like a little piece of core here. I usually put them all on its side and just have a diagonal cut and then you just have the hard core out of there. Now if you want to cube it, I'll just usually take it the middle and then just get it in cuts that is for a nice fruit salad I like a big chunk now if you do um, fruit trays you know if you have some fancy people coming over you know you can also slice it and then when you put it on your tray you can kind of you know do it all in an angle and you can put fruit and berries in between that works out pretty nice when i went to the grocery store i uh, found a neat tool it's like a pineapple slicer it will just core out the inside of your pineapple and uh, i thought that will make a nice cup just to put like a tropical drink in there for a party so what i do is just um, wash the pineapple ahead of time the reason why I like to wash the pineapple is there is all kinds of stuff on the outside and if you want to put a drink inside of it, we don't want those pesticides or anything like that to get into our drinks. So after I'm done washing that pineapple, I just try to uh, cut the top off and you just want to make sure that you have a nice straight cut, you know. Um, this one is just a tiny little bit crooked, but I think it's going to be okay. And then I grab the core. Well, you see here, this is going to drill out that center core. So you want to just place that in the center of it. And you just want to make sure that that is going to take out that core. And then it's pretty simple. Just keep going and you can kind of feel on the side where the blade is because you don't want to go too deep. It's a pretty handy machine. I'm right about here. Okay, so now I don't want to go any further so what I'm going to do is pull up 
in and turn and now I can pull the whole inside out and then you just push these buttons and then you turn it over there is your pineapple through one portion of um, the pineapple all the way down to the bottom and that creates perfect round rings now these pineapples will be nice if you sometimes when you bake a fresh ham or something you can pin them on there get some brown sugar on that ham and it will just glaze the whole ham so it's just ready just to eat and did a wonderful job picking that pineapple it's nice and sweet and oh, it's so delicious now I just give that core a cut I got like a little drink here prepared there's going to be a little bit of the pineapple juice left in there and that's okay got that little smoothie there now I got something here just to stir you know you drink with you know a little umbrella and I got here a straw that can bend cheers to everybody that's watching and this is another episode of cooking with Joan